Hello YouTube, this is Warren Marshall and it's time for another uh, fun day video. So it's a pretty regular thing when you run into people online who, you know, who want advice on how to do something. You know, how to model a specific shape or how to use a certain feature in an application or you know, advice on this or that. And I've, you know, I've come to realize over time this is often just a form of procrastination. Or as Stephen Pressfield called it in the book The War of Art, uh, resistance. By the way, if you haven't read The War of Art, you really owe it to yourself to check it out. It really opened my eyes to the many ways that I delay or stall myself out when trying to attack something that seems like large or something difficult. You know, your mind builds up this resistance in, you know, in many forms, in many forms, some of which we'll talk, some of which we'll talk about in this video, but uh, resistance is real and it's not to be trifled with. You know, in fact, my wife and I have even taken to saying to each other, when the other one is complaining about something they have to do, we'll, you know, we'll say to each other, oh, that sounds like resistance. You know, and often enough, that's the wake-up call the other person needs to realize that they've been procrastinating and inventing reasons not to just get on with whatever it is. And, and it's funny because often the time spent avoiding the task is longer than it would have taken to just do the task. But we built up these stories in our heads about why we can't get going. Now, it's not that some people aren't legitimately asking for help or advice. I'm, I'm sure that they are. Uh, but what they don't realize they're doing is delaying themselves from just getting stuck in and trying it. Uh, you don't need a tutorial. You don't need a new version of the app you're using. You don't need a new computer. You don't need a video card upgrade. You don't need anything beyond what you already have. You've got everything you need. Just get started. For me, this is 99% of the struggle. You know, I worry about tasks. I put them off. I overthink it. You know, we all do it. You know, we're all human after all. You know, and I can let my anxiety over something grow to a point where I'm almost not able to start the damn thing. And the delicious irony is that the best way to reduce that anxiety and worry is to start the task. Once I'm working on it, I feel 100% better and usually realize that it wasn't so bad to begin with and it really wasn't all that hard. Now, if it helps you to get going, break it down into a list of smaller steps and start walking through, the, through those. You know, I know that's kind of cliche advice you get from everybody, but it really does help sometimes just, you sometimes it helps to put some blinders on and have a list of little tasks and just chip away at that mountain one one whack at a time until it's done and you look up and you're left with a pile of rubble you know and you realize it wasn't that hard you just thought it was and paralyzed yourself with resistance so just get started thanks for listening i'll talk at you next time